You might be creating content right now, but is it getting in front of the right people, your customers? Because if you're creating all this content and it's not getting in front of the right audience, then it's defeating the entire purpose of creating content. It would be like me talking about video content or social media marketing in front of a kindergarten class. And that's how creating video content helps you build your brand. Yes, Timmy. Can I eat the crayons? No, no, you can't eat the crayons. Okay, just put the crayons down. All right, and that has nothing to do with creating a video that our, our customers would care about. What's a customer? Okay, you know what? This is the wrong audience. Getting your content out to your desired audiences and customers is what we call content distribution. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video. Okay, so if you've seen my videos before, you know I'm a big fan of simplicity. Taking complex ideas, thoughts, and strategies and making them very simple to understand and to go and execute on. And if you haven't seen any of my videos before, then what the heck are you doing with your life? Go check them out. I mean, literally they're everywhere. But that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna show you the four core ways for you to get your content distributed to more of your target audience and customers. Numero uno, the first and most obvious way to get your content out to more of the right customers and people is to pay for it. I'm talking about paid ads here. Now, don't worry, most of what we're gonna talk about is not paid, it's on the organic side. But I gotta point this out because to be honest, if you were trying to create one piece of content and make sure that it gets seen to a certain group of people based on job titles or demographics or location or industry, industries or whatever it might be, well, paying for it is the quickest way to do it. So whether you're talking about LinkedIn ads, Instagram, Facebook ads, Google ads, there's a ton of different ways to do it. But at the end of the day with paid strategies is that you're basically paying for it to be seen to a group of people. But once you turn off that paid faucet, you're no longer being seen in front of that audience anymore. So it may be okay to do some of that at some point, but you also need to know how to get your content seen organically to the right people and audiences, because that's how you're going to actually build a brand over a given period of time. This leads me right into number two, the second way to get your content distributed is to create quality organic content that your customers care about and understand the content channels that you're posting them on and how they distribute content. And all I'm really saying here is, look, you got to create good content and know the platform that you're posting it on or the content channel that you're getting that on. Are you optimizing for that platform, for that channel? And when you start creating enough niche content and you're using things like hashtags and keywords, good hooks in the first couple of seconds, the algorithm will do some of the work for you and it will start distributing that content to people that show interest in that particular subject or subjects, right? So if I go ahead and create 50 YouTube videos right now or 50 or 100 TikToks or LinkedIn posts, and I'm primarily talking about that one particular niche that I'm trying to serve and I'm talking right to my customer, right to my audience, what's gonna happen is the algorithm wants to figure out, hey, where should we show this content? And is it good content? Now, how do they know who to show it to? Well, they can tell by the text, by the content in the video, by the captions, the hashtags that you use, the keywords that you use, they're going to try to position it to an audience that they think would care about that type of content because they want you to win, but they also want to feed good content to people on that platform. Now, how do they know if it's good content and they should distribute it out to more people? Well, the platform is simply going to push your content out there to some people, a small group at first, and they're going to test it. If the audience reacts favorably, and they'll know that by looking at the retention rates, the watch rates, did they like it, comment, share, all that good stuff goes into it. Well, then they're getting a read to say, okay, this is pretty good content. We now know where to put this content, how to organize it. We know what type of people probably would be into this content, but now we actually know that it's good content because people aren't swiping past the video after the first second or two. They're getting 30 seconds in or 45 seconds seconds in. So at that point, they're going to start to show your piece of content to more people because the algorithm and the platforms, they want more good content out there. Why? Because they want to keep people on their platforms. That's their number one goal. How do they keep people on platforms? Well, when you keep scrolling and the content's still good and it keeps getting better, you're going to stay on the platform. If you start scrolling and the content's like, eh, it's not very good, you're going to bounce off. So the better that content performs with that first group, the more they're going to push it out to the second group and then to the third group. And then pretty soon you've got an opportunity to go mini viral or big time viral. So as you can see, a lot of this comes down to kind of the art and the science of creating content. I mean, how well do you know these platforms and how well are you creating content? You may have a great message. You may have good information that you want to share or a good perspective. But if you can't deliver that, if you can't execute in a way that grabs attention right away and retains the audience through the entire video, it doesn't matter. Your content's not going to get distributed to more people and the right audiences. The same way if you talk about a bunch of random stuff in every single video and you're just starting off, it's going to be harder for that platform and the algorithm to distribute your content to the right people because it doesn't know the right people you're trying to reach. Every single post and video is random. So I would recommend staying niche for the most part, optimizing your content with hashtags, keywords,
keywords, the right hooks in the first couple seconds, and really understanding the platform or the content channel that your content is going on. That's gonna help you maximize that distribution wherever you're at. Now, here's another big reason that you've gotta understand the social media platform that you're posting your content on and how it distributes content. Because TikTok's one thing, but LinkedIn's a completely different thing because LinkedIn, for example, is a social graph. TikTok is an interest-based graph. So on LinkedIn, if you're trying to get traction, it's going to matter that you engage and you're active on the platform because LinkedIn's gonna look at who you engage with, who you're connected with, who you DM, and vice versa. And part of the content distribution for their algorithm is based on that stuff. Not entirely, obviously the content's gotta be good. And if the content's good, it'll be shown to more people. But when you're trying to gain momentum on LinkedIn, and I would really say at any time, you need to be active on the platform because it is a social graph. It's focusing more on building a close-knit community versus having viral hits like TikTok would be. TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, they're more interest-based. You'll notice that when you're on the platform. You start consuming videos about cooking and it's gonna to start to show you more videos on cooking. It doesn't really care who you're connected to or if you know the person or not, they just wanna keep you on the platform by showing you things that you're interested in. So again, this all goes into when someone asks me, how do I distribute my content to the right people? Well, it's creating the right type of content and it's making sure that's optimized for that platform and that you're doing it consistently. You can't just create a few videos or do it for a month and then expect it to reach all of your customers. It's not gonna happen because consistency is a big piece of the distribution. Number three, a great way to get your content distributed to the right people is by repurposing your content. Don't just make the one YouTube video that you're going to post every week. Take that one video and be intentional coming into it so that you can break it down into an additional three to four to five to six to seven to eight other videos. And they all tie back into that one video or the subject matter of that video. But now you've got an opportunity for that kind of same message to be seen on multiple different platforms. You got, let's say, one YouTube video, but now the micro videos are going out on YouTube Shorts, on TikTok, on Instagram Reels, Facebook Reels. And you're also taking that one video and you're creating blog posts and newsletters and text and picture posts. So you wanna basically take that one piece of content and you wanna squeeze everything that you possibly can out of it to get the max amount of distribution. Now I created two videos that you definitely wanna go and watch on this. The first one is how to repurpose your video content like a pro. And the second one is how to build out your own content library. Both of these videos break down the step-by-step -step process on how to maximize your content distribution by repurposing and also building out your own content library at the same time. And finally, number four, the other key way to get your content distributed to more people, more of your target audience, audience, your potential customers, and this one's very highly underrated, most people don't even think about it, is by creating shareable content. I'm talking about content that you can share with prospects or potential customers via email, via DMs, in-person, virtual events, pre-discovery meeting, post-discovery meeting. This is the type of content that your sales team for sure should be armed with and using basically every day to help educate buyers throughout their buyer journey. The nice thing about this content is that once you create it, and this could be video, text, picture, could be a lot of different things, you have the ability to share this with anyone, whether it's to the masses with a newsletter or it's one-to-one -one conversations. You're just gonna take the content that you've created for that specific audience and customer base and you're gonna share it with them. So it's important to think about this because most people think, oh, content's gonna go in the social media feed. Well, sure, there's feed-based content. There's also search-based content, which customers are searching for to get more educated. And then there's shareable content that you are proactive with and you can actually go out there and take the initiative. You don't have to wait for someone to stumble upon your video or your piece of content. You can take great content and and bring it to the marketplace. And if you start doing all four of these, watch how well your content starts getting distributed to the right audiences and your customers. Thanks for watching today's videos. Don't forget to go check out those other two videos and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other videos just like this. We'll see you around.